My name is Pays164, and I'm a professional artist. I've been painting since a teenager, and I've been doing it for 20 years now. Find me at Pays164.com. My uh, Facebook is facebook.com forward slash P-A-E-S space art. Nice little throwy Z here. Just the case here. Nickname is Zorro. A little bit of 3D. It's almost kind of like a mirror image of your letter, just a couple inches over. Work our way around. Get the 3D filled in. Switch that up into a blockbuster. So we're just gonna come with a very squared off letter. Just like it says, a blockbuster. Fill it in with the same color we sketched it out in. So we're working our way up, filling this in, making our hand movements very quick with the skinnier outline. We want to make sure we don't have any drip buildup by going too slow. But using a lot fatter tip, you be able to fly through that a lot quicker, get more coverage. Still want to come back with your outline tip to come and outline the letter. Definitely a good blockbuster, a good graffiti piece. It needs to have good clean lines, so when people see it, even though they might not always be able to read it, they're definitely gonna know it's done very well, and the people you want to read it will definitely be able to read it. We're gonna come back around, one more last color, and inner outline everything. You can actually come and do some of the same cracks I did with the outline, with the inner outline, and there you have it, there's a Blockbuster Z. And a little more wild style Z. We'll take that same base shape of the Z and we'll twist it up. It's gonna work a little pattern of rectangles. A little basic fill in. Let's come back and outline. Again, cleaning up all those little spits of paint and inconsistent lines of your sketch. A nice clean outline at the end will tighten everything up. Come through with a little bit of 3D. Nice solid look for our letter Z. Take this same pink and inner outline, inner gel. Sometimes if doing some of these longer lines is uh, too hard, just kind of feel the line out before you do it. Kind of just work the motion of your hand so you can just follow through and have it done in one shot nice and clean. And the last thing we want to do to our Z is an outer outline. Now you have it, wild style letter Z.